Yes guys, welcome back to the Match Day Experience. Today I have a bit of a different video for you as I'm going to be rating my top five best atmospheres that I experienced in matches this season. Now the plan was originally to compare the top five best and worst atmospheres, but to be honest with you, even the worst five weren't actually that bad. But let's get straight into it and talk about the best five of the season. This season was my first season where I finally got to see a Bundesliga game and that's where I'm going to start because number five is Fauerfeld Borkum against RB Leipzig. Now, like I said, this was my first Bundesliga game and I was actually in the away end. I know that a lot of people, especially Bundesliga fans and German fans, absolutely hate RB Leipzig because of Red Bull's influence. But let's talk about their atmosphere. Their away end was actually very, very good. Considering the German fans take the mick out of them and say that they don't have many fans at all, the ones that were there were very passionate. Now, I know I probably shouldn't use the word ultras and RB Leipzig in the same sentence, but they were actually really impressive. And it also wasn't a very good game. Fauerfeld Bochum actually ended up winning 1 0. RB Leipzig weren't very good on the day. However, the fans didn't stop at all. They just kept going supporting their team and that's what it's about that's what football is about back in your club regardless of your circumstances but of course i must mention that it wasn't just rb leipzig contributing to the atmosphere the fowerfield borkham fans were really really good they were very passionate too considering their stadium is tiny and they're quite a small club let's face it they were in the Spiter bundesliga not so long ago and now of course they've managed to stay up this season and they'll be playing in the bundesliga next season their fans were really really good they were nice people as well the fonofi at ruhrstadion is quite impressive despite it being small they had nice events going on before the game and the fans could really interact and spend time with each other. Now I know you're thinking this isn't really the atmosphere inside of the stadium but the overall vibe, the Stimmung around the stadium and in the stadium was really really lovely. Moving on to number four and this is where it gets really controversial because it's two clubs. Two clubs in number four. I know what you're thinking, what am I doing? However, they're from the same city, I've only visited one of their stadiums but they're both in this list. It's the two clubs from Sheffield, Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. Now towards the end of the season I visited Bramall Lane as Sheffield United had a bit of a promotion party after securing midweek promotion against West Brom. They put it up to a nine and a half. Absolutely fantastic today. Support. It was great limbs, really good chance as well, and the people were very nice. The people of Sheffield are clearly very passionate about football. I did want to say that I couldn't really put Sheffield Wednesday in fourth because I haven't actually been to Hillsborough. I will 100% be there next season, but their party at Wembley, even before the game against Barnsley, the playoff final, which they won in the 123rd minute in very, very dramatic style, was absolutely phenomenal. I've never experienced something like it in England. Genuinely, the party vibe before the game was just mental. I couldn't believe it. You would have thought if you just walked in about 15, 20 minutes ago before kickoff that Sheffield Wednesday had already won. Beach balls flying all over the place, balloons everywhere, scarves, banners, absolutely everything. It was really, really good. The people of Sheffield, like I said before, clearly love this sport and Sheffield Wednesday fans are really, really impressive as well. I spoke to quite a few fans and they were lovely. I must mention as well that my friend from the Czech Republic who supports Sheffield Wednesday also hooked me up with the team ticket so a massive thank you to him but overall it was a fantastic day now of course going into the game I was a neutral but sitting with the Sheffield Wednesday fans but I got really really into it I must say the Sheffield Wednesday fans they backed their team start to finish only encouragement and their limbs when that goal went in wow But that day was just unforgettable. The party and everything about it, Sheffield Wednesday deserved to go up. And do you know what? Fair play to them. Both teams from Sheffield, you really, really impressed me this season. And I cannot wait to go back next year. Before we go any further into the top three, I want to mention Notts County. They also had a playoff final win at Wembley. I was at the game. And do you know what? If this list was only on limbs rather than the atmosphere as a whole, Notts County would genuinely be one or two. Because those limbs were probably the best or at least second best I've actually ever experienced. That game was full of drama, two last minute equalizers, and of course winning on penalties. It was phenomenal. If you haven't seen that video, please do go and check it out. Oh my God. What a game. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. This is incredible. Here we go, man. Last pen. Yeah, Notts County, fair play to you. You're not in the list because at number three, it's Hoffenheim versus FC Köln. And I'm not going to lie to you, this game was only really on the list because of the away fans. The Hoffenheim fans weren't too bad at all. Their little ultra section was quite impressive. But there were so many Cologne fans in that stadium. I was honestly speechless. I don't often get speechless when it comes to atmosphere or in a football stadium because it's so loud. But I was stunned. 
absolutely stunned and that's why I want to go and see FC Cal next season. I must, must go and see them. I'm also planning to go and see Union Berlin because I've heard good things about them and they're playing at the Olympic Stadium next year. But back to FC, well, 8,000 of them turned up. I know Schalke brought a few more earlier on in the season to Hoffenheim, but Cologne, yeah. I can't, I can't put it into words, it was too good. But I will do anything and everything I can to ensure that I get a ticket for a game in the Bundesliga next season. Moving on to number two, the second best atmosphere that I experienced this season was Newcastle United. Geordies, I know, I'm sorry I haven't put us in first. I'm a Newcastle fan myself, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna be biased, I'm just gonna be completely honest and I'm gonna give you my opinion. Newcastle United were second best. However, one thing I will say is that they were the best in England. Newcastle were the highest ranked sides for atmosphere in England by far. I said before in another video that Newcastle United have the best fans in England. It's just a fact. The Geordies are simply incredible. Home games and away games, they travel in massive numbers and they're so passionate. They care about football so much. It's absolutely everything. They live through their club. Unfortunately, I only managed to go to two games at home for Newcastle United, the first one of the season and the nil-nil draw against Leeds. However, the atmosphere was still unbelievable, especially for the first game against Forest. I was just blown away. It was so good. I was sat right up in the gods as well, level seven, right on the halfway line and loved it. It was fantastic. My first away game of Newcastle United was a 2-1 win away to Spurs and wow. The Geordies did not stop chanting. We were there for about half an hour after the final whistle. There were still so many supporting the team, clapping the players. The overall vibe around Newcastle United at the minute is just amazing. Considering, like I said before, if you haven't seen it, the Future of Newcastle United video is out now on my channel. Like I said before, the tough times that the club has gone through to be where we are now. It's just, it's lovely. It's amazing to see and Newcastle United just put a smile on my face every single time we watch them. Even if it's a bad result, it's not a positive one. The way that the team is playing and the passion in the players as well, for example, Bruno and Joel Linton, how Joel Linton's turned himself around, it's just fantastic to see. But the main game that's really put them in the second place is the West Ham game. We smashed them 5-1 in their own backyard. Sorry West Ham fans, you were actually not too bad, but Newcastle, a 5-1 win, it was amazing. The limbs were just phenomenal too. But I know what you're waiting for, the number one. Who was it? And I can tell you, of course, it was abroad and it was PSG versus Maccabi Haifa. Now, I do apologize for the pronunciation of Maccabi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, you guys probably know by now that I absolutely love pyros. I love atmosphere. I love some noise in the stadium. And never before have I felt a little bit unsafe. Now, of course, it was completely safe. Obviously, with flares, you have to be careful. But I was genuinely blown away by these fans. Pretty much every single one of them had a pyro. They lit them off just after kickoff. The game even had to be delayed so that they could get the pyros away from them. I was in the stadium in my seat about an hour and a half as well before kickoff. They were all there, already chanting, already clapping, and wow, incredible. They also took over the comment section on that video as well. It got over 10,000 views and about 9,000 of them are Maccabi fans. It's very clear to see, but yes, they are very, very passionate. So many of them as well invited me to their home stadium in Israel. It would be great to go and see, of course, but it's not exactly easy to get to Israel from where I live. But to be completely honest with you, it wasn't just the Maccabi fans that I was impressed with. PSG were really really good. Their ultras were absolutely fantastic. I sat in the Boulogne end, then most of their ultras sit in the end opposite, however I wanted to be near the away fans, but they were still really really good. There were a few tourists of course including myself, but the atmosphere regardless was phenomenal. Fans constantly chanting the passion and of course we got to see Messi, Neymar and Mbappe. And when those three players are playing the atmosphere is always going to be good, let's be honest. But yeah, Maccabi Haifa, absolutely incredible. I've run out of words in this video, I need some more superlatives, I need some more adjectives. I can't really put it into words just how good Maccabi were and like I said before I was a little bit worried because the fans they were chucking the flares down of course to get rid of them and they were near the security. I don't think they meant to hit the security that's not what I'm implying at all but there were a lot of police and security at that game because the Maccabi fans they were very very passionate and they wanted to show it and not only were the fans just really passionate themselves you could just see it with the flares and the chants and everything obviously I couldn't understand them but there were so many of the fans there it looked absolutely amazing and not only did it look good but it sounded really really cool as well and overall the atmosphere at PSG versus Maccabi Haifa was definitely the best I witnessed in person this season. It just felt amazing to be in the stadium. Nine goals in total as PSG won 7-2 but regardless the Maccabi fans were absolutely fantastic. But that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it but that was my top five best stadium atmospheres of this season. But yeah that's it for today and I'll see you in another video again soon.